I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. My name is Nirmala, and today I'm going to tell you my story as part of this series. Uh, my story is not uh, one so much of a past, uh, of past times in uh, California, um, but uh, rather one of a new beginning here. My links with California go way back to my childhood and those enchanted evenings in front of the big screen watching Walt Disney's Cinderella or Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs or um, Sleeping Beauty. Um, in fact, Woody Woodpecker, Looney Tunes and um, Tom and Jerry, they've all been part of my childhood, an inseparable part. And um, so I've always felt this link with uh, California. We actually came to uh, California after my husband retired. Uh, we have our two sons here, and uh, they said that uh, um, they wanted us to move here because uh, they felt it was more practical for us, the two of us to move, than for all of them to make short trips uh, to uh, India. Uh, it wasn't an easy decision to make, you know, to uproot ourselves at that stage in our lives and uh, move to a, a new place. I mean, it wasn't a strange place, but... Uh, it, nonetheless, you know, uh, new lifestyle and um, so we thought about it a good deal and it was of course the grandchildren who tilted the scale in favor of uh, our move here to the U.S. Our experience from earlier visits, uh, you know, had made it very clear that unless we were mobile, we would uh, lead very, very restricted lives. We would have to depend on the children to, you know, take us out to places and things. So the very first thing that we did was to try and get our driver's license. Um, in retrospect, it is uh, very amusing to think of how we poured over the California driver's handbook, you know, looking up um, every single rule and um, trying to see how different it was from what we'd been used to. And uh, we poured over its pages and tested each other on the do's and don'ts of lawful driving here. And I often heard my husband mutter, you know, saying, I don't think I studied so hard even for my BA exams. But um, it was uh, very confusing to begin with. Um, my reflexes were all wrong and uh, my hand kept uh, reaching out, my left hand kept reaching out for gears, which I realized were located on the right hand side. And I kept looking, uh, the, the, the rear view mirror seemed tilted in the wrong direction. And uh, in India, we have what is called a free left, where you can make a left turn uh, after watching out for um, oncoming traffic. And here it's the other way around. So all that was, uh, very difficult to get used to. We had to unlearn things before we could uh, learn the... You know. Anyway, it uh, all paid off and soon we were driving around and driving around in more ways than one because often we lost our way and um, found ourselves almost back where we uh, started. And uh, it was much later that um, my son here got, uh, uh, you know, quite frustrated with trying to tell us how to get back and he presented us with a thick fat book the Thomas Guide the street maps and after that of course it was a breeze and in 2003 we moved to uh, Sunnyvale and things changed a little bit and everything for the better um, I gave up uh, my job when we relocated because I didn't want to drive all the way to Fremont. Um, but, uh, you know, we were now about uh, 15 minutes drive from my son's place instead of 40 minutes. And then there were several nieces and nephews living within uh, 15 minutes uh, driving distance. So that was good. 
and because I had uh, quit my job, I now had a lot more time for friends and uh, family visiting. So that was good too. Uh, once we settled down, we um, started looking, you know, getting familiar with the neighborhood. And um, one of the first things I did was to become a member of the Sunnyvale Public Library. In uh, 2006, uh, my husband and I became U.S. citizens. And this gave us an opportunity to become more involved with uh, uh, the activities of the city. I was able to become a member of uh, one of the commissions here. And both my husband and I have served as uh, election officers over the past four years. Uh, it was like having an intensive course on the polling process and all with all its ramifications. Very, very educative, hands-on experience almost. All this has given a sense of belonging, uh, which is very satisfying. Um, recently, I became a volunteer at uh, the Sunnyvale Library, and I spent several hours here reveling in being surrounded by books, and um, it has been real eye opener to find out uh, how many how many details have to be coordinated to ensure the smooth functioning of the library. As I said earlier, our lives have been enriched by all these uh, activities, and we have met some of the nicest people here: warm, friendly, caring, and very generous with their friendship. Certainly, we feel fortunate in belonging to a city like Sunnyvale and being able to con contribute to its life.